Good afternoon, YouTube. It's your man George Page coming to you live, live on YouTube. And tonight is the event. It's a, as you know, this is a, a big fight week for um, MMA. Um, you have um, USC 243 in Milburn coming up um, Saturday night. But tonight on Friday night is Invicta. The ladies are are um, are fighting tonight. Uh, fate, uh, fate's supposed to start about five o'clock, and it's in Kansas City, um, Missouri, or Kansas City, Kansas. It's one of the two. I, you know, I should have researched. <laughs> I need to start researching more whenever I drop these uh, my videos. But anyway, um, tonight the main card is going to be you uh, of you and uh, Invicta 37 was supposed to be in um, Jenny Frey versus um, Ashley Cummings, but um, Jin Yu Frey has surfaced, surfaced some kind of um, injury which forced her out of the uh, main card for um, tonight. So they replaced her with uh, Per Gonzalez versus Brogan Walker Sanchez. Now, if you, any of you, if you follow MMA, women's MMA, um, you know Pearl used to fight at UFC, but she took a couple of losses as a straw weight. And then she you know, came back now as a flyweight at 125 fighting in the Victor. And then, you know, she's been doing, she was doing pretty good. She was 3-0. and And then she was had a, a title shot for the flyweight division. And she lost to Vanessa Porto uh, this past summer. And the fight kind of ended with a, if you know the controversy, that ended with a, with an eye poke or something like that. You know, and and the, because Porto, um, Porto was leading on the cards, the championship went to her. But anyway, uh, Pearl's been a pretty good fighter. She's out of Chicago, Chi-Town. And the uh, thing about Pearl she's most known for about a few years ago was uh, she was denied uh, to fight. You know, it was um, around the time when um, Holly Holm was fighting uh, Jermaine Duranamy for the 145 belt when they was trying to make the 145 division. And um, uh, Pearl was on the undercard. I think the prelims or the... Uh, Pre prelims show, and she was supposed to fight. Uh, I think it was the fight, first fight with uh, what's it was, Sylvia Cavillo or somebody else. I'm trying to remember. And um, because she just got breast implants, the New York Sports Commission would, did not want to fight, but she folded and she was able to fight. But even though she lost, but you know, you notice, know, you know, uh, <clears throat> Pearl has a nice set of pearls. <laughs> but uh, Vanessa Pote, um, uh, but um, but um, um, Brogan Walker. Sanchez, she's been doing pretty good. She's six and zero, and this fight could probably give her a shot at um, Porto for the women's 125 belt. Now, there's some um, I don't know all the other fighters on the um, card, but you know this is a pretty stacked card. I think seven fights, and um, and um, Pearl and um, Sanchez are going to be the main event fight. And you know this might get um, maybe if. Uh, if Pearl can pull off a win, they might give a, sh a, sh a second shot at uh, Vanessa Porto. At Vanessa Porto, and if um, uh, uh, Walker Sanchez can pull off the fight, pull off a win, just give her a shot at a title shot at um, Port Porto also. But um, gentlemen, ladies, I want you to you know support these women in in, in, in Victor. Victor is really one of the only purely women's fighting organization. For the you know for female for women's um, WMMA, and you know uh, Shannon Nab she runs the show. I have some big respect for Shannon. She had a there's been a plenty of ladies that came from Invicta, you know like especially like uh, Julia Budd, you know Cyborg. I mean the list goes on and on about who came out of Invicta and done pretty good, you know. But uh, Invicta is also a place for some fighters who have had some bad bad times coming up you now like Angela Hill. Um, you know, I've had a couple of ladies, you know, who have taken a big fall off and you know, Daniel Taylor's there right now. And this is where they can maybe polish up their skills. And, and then if they do a good job, they might get a, good, a shot back to, um, UFC. Maybe this fight might give, um, Pearl, if Pearl doesn't even win, Pearl puts on a, a good show. This might give a shot back to the UFC. You know, and Pearl's an attractive girl, you know, and, and she has the looks and the styles, and I think that's what the fanboy sims like, you know. You know, you got it. There's just, just a growing number of, of more now of women in MMA getting breast implants. You know, just recently, um, Joanna JJ Check, or we call her Joanna Bojango Check, and Paige Van, Van Zant, Pop Gun Paige, like I call her, and Kali Gadea. But that shouldn't be, you know, that shouldn't make you more of a female because you got, you know, set of silicones on your chest. What makes you a female is what's in your heart and what you is a person. But society, especially here in America, 
looks and everything else is more important. And as you know, as I said, again, I'm a fan of bodybuilding and we see that, I see a lot in professional bodybuilding. Just recently, as I know, one of my favorite bodybuilders, Alina Popa, she just got some boob jobs and, you know, I feel like they kind of, you know, you know, kind of just, you know, you took away from her, her great physique. But um, good luck to you, both these ladies, to, to Per Gonzalez and um, Roger Walker Sanchez. Have a good show. Maybe this was me. Maybe for if this don't give um, you uh, a shot at a title, um, Pearl, maybe you get a shot back in the UFC. And for the same thing for um, Broken Walker Sanchez, maybe a title shot. And maybe because I think the UFC has certain people they would give a opportunity to come to to the um, come up there. So if you don't, if you win, you, you might get a, if you win the child, if you beat Vanessa Porto, because I'm surprised you have already called up Vanessa Porto to the big show. But, you know, UFC has their prejudice about who they want to pick, especially, you know, it, it, there's a lot of prejudice, especially Brazilian women. But if she does win, you know, that, um, a shot at, um, the uh, title and didn't win the title, I think I see Walker Sanchez becoming the next, uh, UFC fighter for the 125 division, you know, be food for Valentina. Well, it's your man, Joe Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.